Hi, this is Hugh Cushing of White Source, and this is the first of a series of videos that's going to explain and illustrate the use of the White Source app for Bitbucket, through which you can have White Source scan source in your Bitbucket repositories for security vulnerabilities, license violations, and other matters. Great, so I'm going to assume here that you've already had your administrator, your Bitbucket administrator, install the White Source app into Bitbucket and also have created the several containers that need to be running on a, on a different machine to actually do the scanning and remediation. Uh, so assuming that's done, I'm going to show you how to onboard uh, your own projects or repositories. So the first thing you need to do is to go into the project or projects that you would like to use our integration in. And then you click settings. And if the app was installed correctly and is working OK, under uh, workflow, you're going to see a white source integration option. So the first thing to do is to click on that and either choose to enable our integration on all repositories in this project or certain only selected ones. And you can type the names here uh, and then uh, click Save. That's step one. Step two is for each individual repository within that project, uh, you have to onboard it. Now, some of these steps may have already been done for you, uh, and there are ways to actually automate these steps so you don't even have to do this second one, one I'm about to show you. But by default, uh, both steps are required at some point. All right, so now I'm going into an individual repository within that project. and You'll notice that there's a white source widget now on your, the home page of your uh, repo uh, here under code. Uh, but before you're actually going to get any white source scans, you have to onboard it. Now, once you've once uh, the project has been enabled for white source, like we just did a, a few seconds ago, what you should see then is a pull request automatically having been created in your repositories within that project or the selected ones within the project called configure, configure white source for Bitbucket server. So if you see that pull request suddenly appear in your open pull requests, you'll know you're ready to go. And all you have to do is merge this, per, uh, this pull request and our integration will start running. It's a very simple pull request. It gives you a little overview of what it's going to do. It basically has one file uh, change uh, one commit the one commit within the pull request containing one file chain. It's a new file called dot white source. Right? So if you ever see a repository with a dot white source file in the root directory on the default branch of the repository, then uh, that probably means that it's been enabled for our white source integration. And then we'll talk in a moment about the contents of this white source file. But if you're just getting started, don't worry about it. These settings are good for most people. Um, and you can just take the, uh, the, per, uh, the pull request as it was created and simply merge it. Right? And the, uh, the actual merge is what's going to create that dot white source file and also therefore kick off the white source integration. So now, first clue is that you see the dot white source file here. Right? The second clue is if you start going to your commits, you're going to start seeing little uh, builds running if they weren't already. Okay, So here's the place where we merged the pull request just now. And here's a build that's been triggered automatically. And that build is White Source doing its thing. <clears throat> In this case, there are two things that White Source did. First of all, it ran a configuration change job, meaning it read the .white source file and turned on the integration. The set second thing it did was start off a security check. And uh, that's pretty straightforward. If you click on that, it's currently still running because we just kicked it off. But in here, eventually, you will see your, you know, within a few minutes, you should see your results from the security check and whether you passed or failed and what vulnerabilities you are susceptible to if we did find any in your open source world. So you're now onboarded. And now, by default, every check-in Every commit that everybody does on any branch is going to 
kick off a scan like this if the commit has got something what we think of as significant. We'll talk about that in another video. But basically, point source tries to be smart about not scanning uh, just because you changed the readme file, because that's not going to change the open source profile. Um, so back to that dot white source file. If we open it up, you can see that there are many there's many settings here, and they're all documented in the white source documentation. Uh, and if you're curious about that, uh, it's easy to find. Uh, you go to the white source documentation site here, uh, which, by the way, you can also get to from the white source UI just by clicking in the question mark in the upper right hand corner. Uh, but simply just type Bitbucket. And it will take you to the white source for Bitbucket documentation. In there, among other things, uh, you're going to see a documentation of what the dot white source file is and what you can do with it. Now there's a section in there describing all the various options. Now back to ours, it's basically the default is okay for a lot of folks, but uh, for example, one of the things it doesn't do by default is to do license violation checks, whereby uh, you you know, the company or a project can specify, hey, no GPL licenses are allowed for open source modules, right? And that's not turned on by default because you have to set up some policies. You have to tell white source what is acceptable from a licensing perspective or not. But if you wanted to add that function, as you would read in the documentation, you could simply create a enable license violations uh, key with a value of true. And when I committed that, that's going to queue up another scan that's now also going to include uh, license checks. Great. Well, the other one's still running, but so that's how you onboard your, your app, uh, your, your repository into the white source integration and to get it scanned. Thank you for watching this presentation. And if you have further questions, please reach out to your white source representative or you can visit our website for more information.